Canon 7D Mark III camera is coming with dual digit 8 image processor. Now in general if a camera company announces a new product especially a flagship product they pick up all the latest technology they have. We have already seen the introduction of digit 8 image processor inside the USM50 camera with a lot of processing power. Now in general the 7D series uses dual set of image processor so for sure the next 7D Mark III camera that is expected to arrive sometime in the end of 2018 or possibly in the beginning of 2019 will going to have dual digit 8 image processor. Now let's talk about the core specification of the 7D Mark III camera. Not only new image processor with the introduction of new 7D series camera we have always seen Canon introduces a completely brand new sensor. So with the new image processor Canon 7D Mark III camera will also going to have a new image sensor. Now what about the resolution of the 7D Mark III camera? Many rumor mills are saying at the moment that the upcoming camera may have a 28 megapixel sensor or even more than that. But I personally think if Canon have to save its low light performance, they should pick up either the 20.2 or maybe 24 megapixel resolution for the next generation of the 7D series camera. Now let's talk about the video mode with a completely brand new sensor and dual digit 8 image processor the 7D Mark III camera can easily do 4K at 60p with the DPF support and I also expect that Canon will going to do a full sensor readout while creating the 4K video so we can get the maximum video quality without facing any extra crop factor from the 7D Mark III camera. Now let's talk about the ISO performance of the camera while having the dual digit 8 image processor and a new sensor. The camera ISO range will going to be boosted up somewhere around 204800 but if they pick up a higher resolution sensor then the ISO range will going to be limited somewhere around 102400 or maybe even lower than that. Now let's talk about the continuous shooting mode of the 7D Mark III camera. Now the DZIG 8 image processor is capable to record 10 frames per second in the USM50 camera and when the, you are using the continuous autofocus the continuous shooting speed of the camera remains limited to 7.4 frames per second. Now just imagine if the 7D Mark III camera is using dual digit image processor so the continuous shooting speed of the camera will going to be boosted somewhere around 20 frames per second but for that they have to use global shutter and the continuous shooting speed of the camera while having the continuous autofocus support will going to limit it somewhere around 14 to 15 frames per second introduction of new raw file formats is also usual as we have already seen with the usm50 so these were my expectations with the Canon 7D Mark III camera. Do also share your thoughts, comments and questions in the comment box below and do subscribe to our channel if you like our content.